Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we're back in the Cyclist Tactics with our career mode playthrough, Old Empire Racing. And now we are in, uh, doesn't say it here, but that that, that is today's date. It is patch uh, version 1.0.4, currently in open beta, but that one will probably be merged. So a few fixes in there, important ones, and... A little bit of um, additional polish, which we will see very shortly. So, uh, there we go. Continue our save. We are in the team hub, ready for the next race. It looks like what is up is the Southern Loop Classic. And now I remember that we said that probably we will be attempting to do a speedrun of these three races that are coming up. Southern Loop Classic, Ellisbur uh, Ellisbury Cup, as well as Highport Round. Or round high pot. Um, and yeah, this one looks a little non straightforward. Interesting final setup there. Um, who's racing? Well, we have a few. Uh, David Perry would be one candidate. Pavel Gusev, not so much because there's too much climbing in there for a ruler level two. And then we have Vladimir Antonov, our own rider. I don't fancy my chances with Sansa. Because he is pretty terrible on uh, on the hills. There's just too much climbing on this. He's fast enough, but uh, yeah, he's going to be dead beforehand. So I think the strategy will be focusing on either David Perry or Vladimir. So I'm going to choose David Perry because he's on his fitness peak. So David Perry is our leader here. And the, <laughs> the veteran, 35 years of age. And... Um, Pavel, Sansa, and Vladimir are assisting. Uh, Vladimir could be um, trying, with the stats that are looking pretty decent, to get a top 10 here. I think that's reasonable. Vista Hedvesia. Let's see what kind of climbs you have this year. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, nice little time trial. Just 21 in length. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's a climb. Uh, and there's some more. And final day. Yeah, not too bad. Gerhard Horn takes it. Oof, yeah, but he's a really, really good rider. From the Bank of Hedvesia team. Level 3 climber, level 1 downhill. That gives him a free 2 in mountain downhill. Very strong. Minus 1 in flat, though. But uh, considering this is the only flat stage, it's a hard one. But uh, yes, it's pretty good for this race. And I can guarantee you that he wouldn't be faring nearly as well in the Great Plains Tour. Oh, uh, yes. Old Empire Racing, ranked 15th, the favorite, with a lowly level 5 rider in the mix. So we are up against some really tough opponents. Level 8, 9, 7, 7, 8, 8. That is not looking good. Uh, but they correctly identified that our leader indeed is David Perry in this one. We're starting on the flat, mm, depending on how they feel, and either a one or two turn move to there, or two turns would be, no, a one turn or two turn stop, in intermediate stops in between, before reaching the end. Um, I think we drop to the, to the rear with our leaders. And I think Sansa is the first one to do some lead work, because he's the first one to die. Pavel, not so much, he's pretty solid. Okay, Peloton is taking at least two stops. Escapees, one escapee. He's not quite getting into the correct position, it looks like, and this is a big jump to make. Can he even do so? I don't think so. Uh, one thing you see here already for this patch is much clearer um, UI for who has repositioned already and who still has to. So, as you can see here, these guys are looking solid. This one too. They have moved already or repositioned already. And those who are more transparent, they have not. And also, look at that. I can select riders, but I still see whose turn it is. Isn't that nice? Ah, okay. More escapees have gone. Now they are four. That is much more healthy. Uh, Peloton taking it very slow there. And that's fine. Um, Sansa definitely likes to make this next move because it's, it's just rolling along with free movement points. But now I shall shut up a little uh, and see if we can get through the stage. Looking at the move the Peloton is doing here, 
I think it is wiser to jump a little shorter. Uh, this one would save us some attack, uh, some energy on the next turn. But this one would certainly be very good for David Perry and company. Because they are not going to spend any attack points. We are going to fall behind the Pelantor. But I think we're going to catch them because they let the escapees ride in this situation. Oh, well, at least I hope so. So let's uh, move there with Sansa and um, see what happens. Everyone will be in P3 afterwards, but David Perry and Vladimir are already in P3. So that's not that bad. And the others are waste products anyway. So there we go. Yeah, you see that. Peloton moving short. Perfect. And everyone getting in a full recovery. Can we do another one of these? I think we're going to try. Pavel moving short. Ugh, yeah. I mean, not, not optimal. We are about to get across the highest of these hills, though. Then what is coming up is not too bad. Okay, the Peloton is moving a little harder. But, uh, seeing that this is a pure downhill section, I could completely nuke it with Pavel, who has a plus one in downhill. And there's no technical in here, so my guys would get massive amounts of slipstream. Now, I can move here. Perry, once again, not using any attack points. That is a big move they are making, though. Holy shit! This is <laughs> one short of not being able to reach. But look at that. Again, no attack points spent. So that's a lot of slipstream right there. Uh, eight slipstream, to be exact. So, yeah, good stuff. Uh, that's a move of 29. Nice. All right, we got them. Uh-oh. Peloton moving there. Oh, whew, okay. Looks like we can join them. That is a move that we do need to join because there will be no turning back after this. They are going to nuke it from there. So, yeah. And David Perry has some skills in uh, those technical downhills, so it's good. I want to wait one turn before moving to the front because this was a very hard move they just made and they are going to move short here. Very likely, at least. Um, someone moved there, though. Uh-oh. That looks like it is a favorites attack. Um, are they... Are they going to get through there? That is mm, quite likely. We are on a... Uh, the, the advantage is not, not as big as it looks, of course, because this is a 10 node and this is a 14. So it is basically as if we were here and they were there. So it's... Yeah. Uh, definitely important to catch them, though. So let's see if we move up now. Oh, they managed. They managed to catch them. Holy shit. Okay, that was a big move. That was a very big move. So now only one guy is up front. How much does he have left? Ooh, I think he's going to take it. That was big. What an effort. Nice. All right. Um, we are certainly joining them, and we are moving fast enough. I'm so happy that there's no technical in here between, because that would have killed Slipstream. That's a 28 move. That's massive. Oh, wow, they are going hard now. Sansa can't follow, but he, that's because he doesn't have enough attack points anymore. That is where the favorites are going. Pavel Gusev can't follow either, but Vladimir can, so this is good news. And so can David Perry, just about. Everyone has confirmed their position. This will be the second to last turn, uh, the upcoming one, in which they can go to P0, but certainly not um, reshuffle within P0. So if we go to the front now, we should have an edge on them in the sprint because we are going to extend that P0 and they, they should be somewhat exhausted or the super pure sprinters shouldn't be here anymore like Sansa. Um, gone, far gone. So yes, what I'm going to do is join that bunch of P0 riders. I think that's the right choice to make here. And yep, Miroslav is taking the win. Now let's see what the... Wow. What the Peloton does. That was a hard move once again. Another 25. Let's see if we have any rider who can get away. David Perry, maybe. Let's see if David can get away. 
We wouldn't want to, though, because we are now in P0 and would pull everyone along. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we have enough resources to do a proper sprint. And that is with both riders. Well, he's uh, down at five energy per turn. That's not great. Uh, someone else joined. But, you know what? We can reposition behind him. We can reposition behind him. He still has a max move to make. Uh, these guys don't. Oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So, there is no one here who can properly... Uh, Vladimir is the first one who can properly pull. Ha, but it looks like more are going to join P0. So what we could do is have Alex Alonso uh, right in front of us. We could both move to his wheel. We do have enough attack points to do so. Yeah, I th and then everyone else will be on our wheel. Huh. Yes, yes, is that is that the, the right s decision? Is everyone going to get past us then? Because we are certainly no sprinters, are we? Minus one in sprint. David Perry not. He's pretty decent. Okay, I'm going to move behind his wheel, yes. And the same with David Perry, but I'm going to do it the opposite way. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like this. David Perry is leading out. Um, gives Vladimir a little bit of a shot. And now everyone is going to join, I assume. Let's see. Yeah, no, not everyone. Not a few riders. Okay. Now people are hammering it. There goes the lead out. Um, current, yeah. He's the only one who could move properly. So there we go. We have to go and sprint. We increased our velocity a little bit. And now... Um, uh, can't do shit anymore. <laughs> can't do shit anymore. Let's see if that worked or if we are going to, uh, to pay for this. Everyone behind us. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, oh, wow. He is going to nuke everyone. He's going to put in, like, four velocity or something at front. And then he can't. He will be able to pass, likely. He is definitely going to pass. Uh, he's a little far back and has a negative one, so he don't, wasn't, well, wouldn't be passing. Mm, Fedor here, too far back. Emmanuel Gomez, yeah, might be. Might be. He has one in sprint and one in flat. Uh, yep. Um, let's see. I think there are a few top tens in here. Uh, David Perry, fourth. I think we did it. Fourth place. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is looking decent. That is looking decent. Do we have a tenth maybe with... No, ninth. Ninth with Vladimir. Not too bad. Okay, I take this one. That's a decent result. 125 points times one for the sponsor. He's The sponsors are happy. Beautiful. Next month, please. Don't you like downhill races? I sure do. In reality, that is. Uh, and... Hmm... Well, Pavel is looking mighty strong on this one. And considering that there's not a single hill in there, he is probably pretty much one of the favorites. Um, although, Sansa, with a plus one and plus two technical, I think he's actually the favorite uh, out of my guys. But these two are going to uh, cause some damage in the top ten, that's for sure. And I think we are going to go and look for a unicorn. Unicorn rider? Um, let's see if we find one. We go to Ahana, uh, time trial paradise, and look for a time trial rider. Because those guys have a chance of spawning all the way up to 12 energy per turn. That's too higher than you actually can, can get by normally making a rider. Uh, 11 is more common, 10 is quite common, uh, still still a little rare. Um, oh, you could say that it's 10 is rare, 11 is very rare, and 12 is just ultra rare. <laughs> That's when the stars align, you can scout one of those. Um, let's see. We do have 7, 8, 7, yeah. And all are shit. <laughs> 
Holy, holy, they are really shit. That's some nice attack, yo. In our currently shortlisted riders, we have a Rouleur and Cobble Expert and another Rouleur. Very good, high potential ones. Uh, and two Climbers. Decent ones, decent potential. Let's see if we find a very high potential Climber that doesn't suck uh, in the existing list. Let's go through that. Oh, you know what? Hanskun. Holy, that is great. Look at this. 99% experience. Yes, please. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, okay. We need to um, consider staffing for Pro League. Oh, man. Oh, man. This will be a little tricky. Uh, third season in Pro League? That's not easy. Because that means we can only do mixed races or higher. Uh, yeah, and we have seen what happens in mixed races to our riders. So this will be very tough. We're doing too well. All right, race preview. Pavel Gusev is among the favorites. Hmm, level five. <laughs> There's a level nine rider here. Oh, it's just Manuel Gomez. He's kind of an all-rounder, but he is a puncher. He has flat uh, mountain and sprint. Not to be underestimated. This guy here too, this is this is probably, yeah, he is the favorite. Level 8, 2 in flat, 1 in cobble. That's perfect for this stage. And I'm just going to, for this race, place everyone in P3 for the moment. We're not one of the major favorites, so um, don't worry too much until like halfway. And then I definitely am going to move them to like P2 and then move them straight up as soon as I see anyone is coming to the front. And, of course, have someone in P0 just to um, make sure that they are, is, they, they are behaving themselves. There are five escapees. I'm worried about Max Bush here. He is a little too strong. He's not taking part in the relay. That means he's there by accident, more or less. Alright, this is a little bit too much of a gap for having these guys up there. I, I do want to start doing some lead work. Maybe we, I just go over to the front with Vladimir, as um, he certainly is the weakest out of the bunch, but he has some speed, so he can do some work. Okay, now they've woken up. That's a good 20 move. Uh, we need another one of those. And that's exactly where that one goes. Nicely planned. 2 times 20 there, that's perfect, because that gives the um, lead rider a plus one bonus to Slipstream, even though he's leading out. Yeah, this is just rock solid. Another 20. Now they are faltering a little. Ah, okay. Dylan White, Max Bush, still looking super strong though. He's dangerous. Uh, and Gianni. Um, hmm. Not that strong anymore. But yeah, who's leading? Who escaped? These two guys are not looking too dangerous. But let's say I do want to do a move of 20. Uh, there you have it. You see, this is the same cost, both of them. With 20, I get plus one in Slipstream, even though I'm leading out. So yes, let's uh, make them go there. Oh. Oh, we've just nuked all the helpers, basically. They can't make that move. They can't make that catch up. That is interesting. All right. But I think what that will mean is that the helpers and leaders are coming to the front because they have just lost the helpers. Uh, the lead outriders and the leaders are coming to the front. So, um, yeah, this is a little early. Can Vladimir hold position a little longer? He kind of needs to, but there are also some technical sections coming up, which are, yeah, not, not too bad. This is a medium section, and this one as well. Where do we have it? Um, yeah, all medium sections. Oh yeah, by the way, and one, one thing that you, you really should consider doing. It seems like many don't know. The way I'm moving the camera here is with just right mouse click, right? So I just right, right click and hold, and then drag my mouse. That's getting you to places really fast if you want to. Um, so very handy. It's not like this, 
uh, with the A and D keys or the arrow keys. But you know what? I'm going to move forward to P2 just to be safe. As I think something is going to happen pretty soon. And P2 is just about good enough there. Six slipstream. Alright, let's see if the, all the leaders are popping up at the front now. <laughs> yes, I think they were they were all in P3 when I surprised them with um, just putting in a big paw. And all their helpers dropped off. So the only one up front here now is Gab Gabriele Costa. And that doesn't look too challenging. These guys are also somewhat empty. Yeah, there are a few already. All right, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Uh, Pavel and David and... Whoop, there they are. Yes, okay. That's a job well done. And I think what we're going to do here is to make a 21 move. Uh, we could move right... now. Nah, let's leave them hanging. Let's just leave them hanging a bit because that, those two riders... or those few riders there are actually quite dangerous. So... We want them to not have nice slipstream. <laughs> even though Max Bush is still looking mighty strong, even with the limited slipstream he gets. So, yeah, I'm going to move one short. That's a 20. All right, now we can just overtake them. Let's be efficient about this. Uh, this is a 17 move. 18, yeah, we can't go harder than this. That is unfortunate, but we want to land right there. So otherwise, we're not going to catch this bastard. No, no, we would. He just has nothing left. He's running out of attack points, so just one more good move, and then he's empty. Vladimir has been good, doing some really good pulling here. Yeah, look at all of them. Look at all of them. Just being up in front and losing resources. But now we are moving into the next technical section, so I actually do want to move a little forward here with my riders. Even though... There's still 100 nodes to go. I don't know when they are going to attack or if they are going to attack. So let's just play it safe and move up and be, be sure that we are able to join any massive break that happens. We do have another lead out happening with um, Vladimir. So that's, that's good. Um, he can go 21. Land on a very efficient node, so let's do this. I don't think attacks will be going after this move. Uh, there could be attacks. We could attack if we wanted to. This is something we want to do. Let's uh, just take a look. David Perry would be very hard-pressed, but Pavel is looking super strong. He's not the strongest across technical sections, though. Ah, oh, that's why we can move so hard. We are moving through a technical section here. But Sansa, of course, has two in technical. So he doesn't see the technical section. He's just like, uh, what the fuck are you guys on about? So if he went all out, then we would be able to get to there on the next turn. Easily. And then... This would be reachable by Pavel, and then across the line. I think that might be a win. I think we can eke out a win with Pavel here. Should we launch him? So this is a bit of an opportunity. I mean, <laughs> even though we led out quite hard by with Vladimir, but this was hard enough, so the others weren't considering it. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, well, this guy here that you just see in front of your eyes is a unicorn. He has 12 energy per turn. He is a scouted rider. That does not exist in my rider roster. <laughs> uh, he's quite competent, isn't he? What level does he have? He must have leveled up quite a bit already. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ruler level 8. Okay, yes. Yeah, uh, that's just holding space, by the way. Hold space, you see the specialization. But alright. So, I think we are going to go for the Sansa move and launch Pavel. And David can stay behind. We don't need more riders up there. Uh, David can stay there and try to grab a good... No, he's our backup. Right. In the peloton. He can ride along. He gets uh, across the technical sections nicely. And then he can try to do something in the sprint. Unlikely that he will succeed. But um, So let's consider this again. If this is a max move. And this one will be one less than max. And then Pavel will need to make this move. Okay. 
That is fine. Pavel can do two moves. So max attack right there. Pavel joins him. And we go short with David. Now there are three riders here. Someone go Ah, Manuel Gomez joined us. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So we go there. Uh, you go there. You, we have plenty of attack points. That's fine. Just join in there. Let's see if he reordered back. He did not. So that's good. But we have one more rider to contend with here. Might be in our favor even. I, I don't know. Because Manuel Gomez is mighty strong. And now I'm of course not going to do any chase work. But rather reposition. Uh, do I want to reposition here? I have plenty of energy, so I can. Yep, let's do so. And here we have the move that I was talking about. It needs to be up to there. I don't think the Peloton can catch us there. This is a move of 25. This means the Peloton would have to move 26, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 30, 31, 32. Don't quite know if they can do that. This is a very good node to land on. Right in front of a technical section too. Easy follow. Oh, and Manuel Gomez has followed, so that's that's perfect. So we're going to be able to stay on his wheel. Oh wow, the Peloton did make a 29 move, so they are not far behind. Ouch, okay. So we said that we do need to move um, with, oh. Oh, Manuel Gomez can't. He can't do this by himself. He can't reach this node. He's a little too slow. Look at that. Because we know Sansa can't, can't reach that. He has enough attack points and stuff, but he's one too slow. We know that. So, he's a 6, 8 plus 1. So, 7, 8 plus 1. And here's a 7, 7 plus 1. So, that's a 7, 8. Uh, yeah. He can't reach. But Pavel is an 8, 8 plus 2. So he's 18. He gets plus 18. Holy shit. Minus 2 for the uh, for the technical here. Manuel Gomez has... Ah, he has 1 in technical. Sansa has 2 in technical, though. Oh, does this work? Can Pavel actually reach? Because he gets the full technical penalty. Oh, this will be tight. This will be mighty tight. Um... So, yeah, let's let's reorder there. He's staying! He is actually staying. Okay, so, well, that's our chance. Let's see if it works. Uh, who's pulling? He can't. Max is there. He has been in the breakaway for such a long time. Does he have the punch still? That is not enough. He doesn't have any technical bonus. So I don't think this is enough. He's still fast though, six, plus 16 uh, through that, no, well, 14 through that technical section. Let's see what happens. Everyone is confirming. There we go. So can we make the jump? Uh, that is a very weak move. We need to move hard now. Um, well, Sansa is kind of, kind of gone. Should we present him as a bait? Mm. Should we go to to here and have the Peloton land on that? I don't think they're going to do that. I think the favorites are going harder. But this is looking juicy, right? So that's a four node free movement difference. Hmm. But the finish is there. So even then, this is looking a little better. Now I wish I was on the wheel of Pavel instead. Because he would be giving me a little bit of slipstream that would allow me to pull through if Pavel can, but I don't think Pavel even can reach this one. So if we go there, Pavel needs four attack. Yeah, there you see it. Look at that. So if we go there, Pavel needs four attack points, but gets free slipstream. That means that without the slipstream, he would be able to land right there. <laughs> okay, Sansa is pulling him there. And oh yeah, and momentum blocking that as well. Um, so, yeah, we are going there and hope the Peloton can't join us. Ooh, they're going there. They're going there. And Vladimir can't join. You are rest-moding. And Perry? 
David. Okay, you need to get into position now for the sprint. 27 nodes to finish the race for the peloton. Can they do that? Uh, yeah, there's no technical section. There's minus one slipstream. So I think they definitely can. We need to land well beyond the finish. Oh, well, a little beyond because they have... We have this little bit of, of a gap we can use. This will be very close, though. So where do we want to put David? Uh, does it... Yeah, I think this is the final move. Uh, let me just check if any of the lead outs can make that jump. This one can't. Okay, so it will be on someone like Manuel Gomez. And he's right there to make that jump. Four, plus 14, plus 15. He has a plus 15. And he's on a 12. So that means 27. Yep, and that was exactly what we needed, right? So he would be able to go right there. And likely will. Louis Weiss, if, yeah, he can't reorder now, but Louis Weiss would be able to move further. He has a plus 16, so that would be 28, so he would be able to move to there. Um, so I think Manuel Gomez might actually save us here, <laughs> in a weird way, because he's going to move there. Momentum blocked the shit out of everyone here, so that they can't move a little bit further. And that's it. All right, um, so I have to be somewhat close to his wheel then. Niels Weber... Yeah, I'm going on Louis Weiss's wheel. I need to be farther to the front. There we go. That's my place. Okay, there we go. Ah, yes. Easy. Pavel Gusev just destroying everyone there. Yep, yeah, that's 1880. The others will be struggling to get anything um, below 89. Sansa just spent. He has done his job. He propelled Pavel to glorious victory. And there we go. It's exactly the move that I thought. No, it isn't. Because Manuel Gomez, he actually moved short. Okay, that was weak. Um, he just followed the other riders. He has given up on life. So there we have it. Louis Weiss is opening the sprint. I thought he would be able to move one further. But it uh, doesn't matter. 93, as you see there. So we can follow and can just about outsprint him. Let's see how many other riders are actually going past. I think a lot. But this might still be a top 10 if we are a little lucky. Uh, no, <laughs> probably not. Uh, not enough riders in the stack there. All right. Oh, David Perry gets a ninth. All right. Worth it. But Pavel Gusev, a beautiful attack there. Catapulted out the peloton being pulled by um, our own rider, Vladimir, and then catapulted out of that peloton by uh, Sansa, of course. Pavel Gusev, the cannonball, uh, <laughs> uh, is being launched across the line, just 0.13 turns behind the others. That's a little close there. And that is a mighty 250 points. Great stuff. Let's see if he levels up from, from this. Could be. Yeah, we have some level up. And next one is Highport. Hmm. And it's not... It is not Pavel. As he just recently had his level up, didn't he? Uh, it is Vladimir. So what do we want to do with our rider? Well, we have mapped out his journey already. We wanted him to be a stage racer. And that means he needs to have some mountain now. And that's also quite... Uh, quite a good move because we don't have that apart from Frank, redshirt guy, as someone called him in the in the comments. That was funny. Uh, yeah, redshirt guy is now no longer alone in having mountain skill. Where do we want to put his point? I think if he wants to uh, do anything in longer tours, he needs more energy as well as much more recovery. And I think. Two recovery would already be a little helpful. <laughs> uh, and yeah, more energy will, of course, also be. Um, I think if, we, if you're looking at getting results, especially in the mixed league, which we are going to be racing a lot in, 
in the near future because we have no choice anymore because we're going to get to Pro League very soon. Uh, then I think the extra energy will help us more right now than the extra recovery. So let's go with that one and then from here we need to invest into recovery a lot. The next five levels? Holy shit, that's almost all. Yeah. The next, let's say, the next three levels after that. Um, we'll have to go into that. And then one into attack. And then probably one more into recovery. I do want to end up at a recovery rating of six. That I deem is pretty optimal because it lowers, it again has the threshold for recovery lowered. And yeah, that's quite handy. So, uh, that was good. But once again, I see that we're not quite making it through this episode with three of the races because this was too exciting. I had too much to talk about. That's good stuff. I really enjoyed those. Um, and High Pot is next, where Sansa is going to absolutely nuke everyone. Another one which doesn't have any hills whatsoever. Perfect stuff. All right, I hope you enjoyed. And no, no, Carol, you can scout still. Yes, we are looking for another unicorn. Let's go. Uh, time trial there. Unicorn, no, no, no unicorn found. Ah, too bad. But this guy is, nah, nah, he's not really good. 4 8. Hmm. We do need some heavy hitting talent though, as we are going into Pro League. And uh, we don't really have that available, do we? Ouch. Well, we can try to shortlist something. No, we don't really have anything here. Well, Bradley Woods, he's great. So let's uh, let's take him on board. He is, uh, yeah, just level three, but 12 potential. We have plenty of money going forward, so that won't be the limiting factor. But I would probably go for a much lower budget than I would be able to just to keep the um, the points low, the requirements by the sponsor, because it will be some really, really tough races next season. All right, shortlist him. And now, I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Yeah.